Uh, in class, you talked about the mark of the beast, uh, which you mentioned in Revelation 13, 16 to 17. Um, do you think that the chip that is being implanted into people's hands may be connected with that? Because um, it's becoming more and more uh, widespread now that technology is ever advancing. Um, we're in a big tech revolution. Um, so do you, do you see it as any connection there, or is it all just we're thinking too much of it? Um, what are your thoughts on all of that? Great question. In your mind, you should always think of Revelation in that chart you see me constantly showing in class. Revelation 1 is seeing Christ and Patmos, so John is on earth, sees Jesus. 2 and 3, Jesus tells him about the churches. 4 and 5, we get to see the worship scene in heaven. Now we're talking about the Antichrist and the beast and the tribulation period. That's chapter 6 through 18. Oh, back to the mark of the beast. Yeah, we've got to go to microchips. Yeah, microchips. Let me erase here. Um, here, I want you to realize that throughout all history, everyone has been so concerned about the 666. And so everyone thinks uh, when tattoos came out, they thought it was a tattoo. Uh, when social security numbers came out, there's a whole group of American Christians who have hired lawyers and they, when their children are born, they have a lawyer and they pay thousands of dollars so they never get a social security number because they're sure that that's the number. But what they forget is that it says in Revelation 13 that no one can buy or sell without the number. And it says, of course, uh, forehead and hand. So we're kind of obsessed with, is it a barcode? Now, the question is, is it a microchip? That's not the important part. The important part is that the Antichrist is going to digitally control money. You cannot do commerce. You cannot buy or sell without his number. Now let me remind you that starting in the 1980s, before all of the students, or most of them, were even born, currency went digital. By the 1990s, uh, credit cards, which is digital money, was universal. Now, I mean, between PayPal and Apple Pay and Venmo and Zelle, I don't even know all of them, you know, uh, Square Cash, we have no problem with buying and selling with numbers. The real lesson is that the Antichrist, this Antichrist, I-S-T, well, you know what, how to spell Christ, I-S-T. The Antichrist assumes control over global commerce. And people have their right hand or their forehead. Several things this could be. Vis facial recognition. It doesn't have to be a, a chip. Did you know that facial recognition, this is your face. They triangulate on your face of three points that are unique to you. And right now in China, they know where everybody is because of facial recognition and the biometrics of this, of their, their forehead, their face, your hand. We, we all never have thought about the uniqueness of our fingerprints and everything. I mean, you don't even think about that twice. It doesn't have to be a chip implant. It is an ID, a number, attached to a person that the Antichrist controls whether you can buy or sell. So don't, don't think Bill Gates is going to use COVID-19's vaccine to implant a micro nano chip in my hand. So I'm not going to get a vaccine. Amazing. It's not the mechanism he uses. It's the worship of the Antichrist tied to the usage of that number. So what we really should be worrying about is 
whether or not I am living, if my whole life is, I want to have the best job possible so I can earn the most money possible, so I can keep upgrading my electronics and have a great savings account, rather than living for heaven. Materialism is worse than the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is how he controls unsaved people. Now there's one more little thing. When you're reading Revelation, it talks about earth dwellers. That's how God describes lost people. Earth dwellers. You ever heard the song, this world is not my home, I'm just a passing through? The Bible says lost people, their whole life is tied to the earth. To their job, to their money, to their pleasures, to their possessions. But we are citizens of heaven. That's how God describes Christians. That's why this worship scene in heaven in chapter 4 and 5, and that's why the second coming and going to heaven is the focus of the early church. Revelation was their favorite book. It's the most preached book in the, in the history of the church, the early days. Everyone was into this. Why? They didn't know who the beast was. They didn't know what the number was. They were speculating back then. But you know what they said? We don't want to be an earth dweller. We want to be a citizen of heaven. So, it's very possible that we will start being offered implants that will have our medical history on it, so that when you're in a car wreck, all they do is just check that and they go, oh, you're, you're allergic to penicillin, or you're Rh negative, or you have AB positive blood. That is not keeping people from heaven nor is Bill Gates' COVID-19 vaccine drive. The people that don't go to heaven are the ones that reject the cross, the work of Christ in the cross, and their primary orientation is downward to earth. And the Antichrist allows the people who will focus downward to use their personal identification, probably their facial recognition, that's the current way we can identify everybody with no chip and will turn off their phone if they don't obey him. So they can't buy or sell. They can't log on to the internet. Can you imagine people go crazy if they couldn't be online? So this ID number of the Antichrist, it doesn't matter if it's a barcode of invisible tattoo. It doesn't matter if it's a nano chip tattoo. It doesn't matter what it is. We don't even need one. We already have one. Right now, your biometrics are unique to you. In fact, I see Daniel's big smiling face right there in his refrigerator. And anybody in the world could take a biometric and know that's Daniel. So we're already technically there. The thing to worry about is the people that cannot go to heaven are the ones that reject God and they're tied to earth. Don't spend your life warning people about vaccines, implant chips in your hands or whatever, instead of pointing them to trusting Christ and becoming a citizen of heaven. You know, I'm not into the all of these conspiracy theories. But what I'm seeing is Christians are getting off in these fringe discussions and missing the core of what it says in Revelation 19 and verse 10, by the way. That's right here. Uh, something you need to know for your test and quiz. Worship is submission to God. Earth dwellers will not submit to God. They won't worship him. Citizens of heaven submit to God. Because remember, worship, the word in Greek is proskuneo, which means that you fall before and you just kind of lay down in front of and say, you are my God. 
I love and want to serve you. That's what a citizen of heaven does. That's what Revelation says worship is about. So Revelation 19.10, worship is submitting to God. Now, every one of you students that are listening to this, say that out loud. Worship is submitting to God. That is more important than microchips, tattoos, nano tattoos, COVID-19 vaccines. Those are distractions. The Antichrist wants people to not submit to God. The gospel is citizens of heaven say, I am looking for my Lord to come and right all wrongs. So did I say enough, Daniel? I think I'm going too long on my answers. <laughs> well, you got to explain it. Um, so would it be fair to say that um, microchip would just be one of many possibilities that the Antichrist could use? It's nothing special while it's, it triggers our tech brains of Christians thinking, okay, this is something that can be easily used. Or it could be something, like you said, as simple as a tattoo or, um, or a facial recognition. Right, it's right. Special about microchip. So go out and get a face job so that you can't be identified. That would be just as wise as avoiding the vaccine. All right, so I think that, I think that pretty well answers the question of the microchip and gets us all thinking about it.